growing efforts underway to, be, to bring truthful health information to the African-American community, especially when it comes to COVID-19 and vaccines. Yes, barber shops and beauty salons now helping to not only make people look good on the outside, but stay healthy on the inside. Our ABC's uh, Kenneth Moulton has this story for us. In the massive and historic effort to vaccinate a nation, doubt from so many Americans, especially in the black community. There was a strong hesitance and reluctance um, in the African-American community uh, to take this vaccine. And it's not for uh, anti-political -anti reasons, but there's a historical foundation. At Niles Style in Northeast Baltimore, it's no surprise that the barber shop has become the place to discuss COVID-19 and the vaccine. We try to use our ability and our, and our connection with our, with our clientele to instill some confidence or some truth to a lot of the things that they may come in that they've heard off the street or off, off media. In Silver Spring, Maryland, Millennium Salon also working to help clients stay safe and separate fact from fiction. When it comes to the vaccine, do people who sit in your chair trust it? I would say that 75% mm, of the people who come into uh, my chair are people who understand the value of the vaccine. And there are some things that they're just kind of waiting for to see happen first. As lockdown restrictions started to ease, businesses across the beauty industry started to reopen and adapt with new safety measures. I'm educating people as I'm educated. So there's a transfer of information back and forth. Will you get the vaccine? Absolutely. You see how quickly I said that? Because mm -hmm. I believe it. Not the case for licensed nail artist Jerry Taylor, who transformed her Southeast Washington, D.C. home to survive financially. The owner of She Nailed It says, like many of her clients, she won't be getting the vaccine. I've only had one client actually say that she is interested in receiving the, co in, uh, uh, the vaccine, but that was just more so, um, in her words, so that life can resume something back to normal. Um, and she doesn't even know if that will work also, but for the most part, um, everyone's against the vaccine. The history behind the skepticism well documented. I uh, understand that people may have mistrust based on uh, historical circumstances, the, the Tuskegee experiment, so on and so on. But uh, I think it's extremely important that we, uh, those of us who understand the science, uh, communicate effectively with other people, given that uh, we're at great risk from uh, COVID. COVID is disproportionately killing black people. For Niall Style back in Baltimore, that's where live chair health comes in. A client pulls out their smartphone, scans the QR code, and then there are five questions, three surrounding COVID. Entrepreneur Andrew Suggs first created an app for booking barbershop appointments. Over time, his platform evolved to also help people become more health conscious for free, even equipping barbershops with blood pressure monitors. Our focus is on addressing health disparities found amongst people of color, uh, starting with African-American men and women first, because this population is overrepresented in almost every ca chronic disease category, and we need to go to where people are, which happens to be hair salons and barbershops in these communities. Now, in the age of COVID, Live Chair Health is arming shops with thermometers for temperature checks, getting people information from medical partners, even connecting clients with insurance providers and doctors. We really want to, you know, be an advocate and, and you know, tell people to mask up, um, social distance, um, you know, frequent hand washing. But as far as taking the vaccine, we really want to put that in the hands of the primary care provider for that patient. A recent Pew Research study finding only four out of 10 African-Americans would get the vaccine. Live Chair Health also has what it calls a brain trust of black doctors, including Baltimore cardiologist Ethel Morgan. We have to really concentrate an effort to, uh, to try to make more people more comfortable with the idea of taking the vaccine, which has been shown to be very effective and, and very safe. For these barbers, fresh cuts aren't the only thing they're trying to provide their clients. We're trying to make them look good inside and out. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington.
Look, that is just one of the spots I always remember as a kid going where mm. conversations happen among black folks, black men especially. You're sitting there, you, you have to, undivided attention, right? You're sitting there, so you have to have a conversation. Even the kids sitting there can pick something up. So it's good to see they're concentrating on barbershop. Tradition shop. continues. It does. It absolutely does. So thanks, Kevin Bolton, for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.